You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait. I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Oh, well, you know. Huh? Know what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what do you do every day? Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat again. But, Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long children are... Oh? <clears throat> doing that. Doing what? Oh, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita, I'm sure you're going to... <clears throat> do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up, I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals, just like cows are. Oh. So what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone without touching it and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo! Olga! Talalo! Alfred, come over here quick. I've got something incredible to tell you. Moo Moo and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg. I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Moo Moo? I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Moo Moo. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes, but I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me, but I'll tell you more about it another time. Moo Moo, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. <laughs> The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! a leg! And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Oh, Look how careful. fast it Don't step on it! Oh, oh. 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 it's, it's so, so pretty. pretty! Mommy! How cute! Mommy. It thinks that you're its mother! What do you mean, Mommy? Oh, that's not true! Oh, I'm not your Mommy! Go now, go home! Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> Don't follow me because I am not your mommy. <laughs> Get away, you bug. I'm sure your mommy will be here soon. Well, back to the ground. This isn't my job. Don't look at me like that. I said don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, oh. 
adorable. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, what's the matter? You want a kiss? Come with mommy, come with mommy. I'm going to call you Turda. I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle. I thought there was something strange. Although if you look closely, it does look like a cow. <sighs> like I've already told you many times, Moo Moo, I'm the prettiest giraffe in the whole wide world. Like I've told you a thousand times, you're the only giraffe, and that's why you're the prettiest. I detect envy in your words, and you know that envy is very ugly. The only ugly one here is you. What do you mean I'm ugly? I'm the most beautiful one in the universe. No way, I'm the prettiest one here. There has to be a way to find out which of the two of us is the prettiest. We could ask our friends and let them decide. Olga, can you help us out for a minute? Of course, what do you need? We need to decide which of the two of us is the prettiest and we want you to tell us who the winner is. But that's just silly. You're both very pretty, I can't compare you. You see, Mumu, I'm the prettiest of all. Not even Olga can deny it. Cut it out, Rita. You're both very pretty and I vote for both of you. Rita, maybe Olga's right and we're both so pretty that nobody can decide which one of us would win first place in a beauty contest. Hmm, we'll see about that. Ha <laughs> ha. Rita can't stop saying that she's the prettiest, but I think that everyone is pretty in their own way. Don't worry, Moo Moo, she'll get over it. flower and this tree what lovely green leaves hello Milo what are you doing I'm taking pictures of the prettiest things in the garden so how come you haven't taken a picture of me Rita I said the prettiest things hey Milo don't be mean to me come on take a picture of me I can't, Rita. I'm very busy and I have no time to waste because I have to submit my photos to the local newspaper. Are you telling me that those photos will come out in the local newspaper? Yes. 
I have to be in those photos. Let me help you. I'm sorry, Rita, but I have a lot of work to do. You're not going to win this one. Please go away, Rita. You're bugging me. I don't know what you're talking about, Milo. I'm just here peacefully admiring nature. Rita, please. Rita, let me take these photos in peace. What? Milo is taking photos of Rita? I have to be in the photos. I'll go talk to him. Now you'll see how pretty oh. you look. Oh. Oh. Now I'm going to show you what a flash looks like on your whole face. Hmm? These two are going to give me the best photos of the year. <laughs> oh. How dare you do that? When I catch you, I'll... Oh. How do you expect oh. to catch me? You're nothing but a big slow giraffe. Show you. I won first prize for the best photos. You want to see them? I want to see how pretty I came out. I'm sure I came out much prettier. I've named this photo Crazy About the Flowers. I've named this one Autumn. And this one doesn't have a name. <laughs> I couldn't sleep at all last night. Me neither. The only thing I heard all night long was Moo Moo snoring. We've got to do something about it because I couldn't take another night like that. We could sleep out in the garden inside a tent. I got it. Why don't we build a treehouse and make Moo Moo sleep there so we can finally get some sleep? Poor Moo Moo. It's not her fault she snores so much. She has a bad cold. Fine, whatever the reason is, we still have to build the treehouse, don't you agree? All right, let's go get everything ready. My friends, as you all know, Moo Moo hasn't stopped snoring and we haven't been able to get sleep at all. So we're going to build a treehouse so we can get some sleep and relax. I thought Alfred was the one that snored. Excuse me, Rita, but you should know that I don't snore. I breathe with style. Whatever you say, Alfred. We have everything ready to start building it. So everybody do what Milo says. I want my own room with a double bed and three mirrors. I don't know why you want so many mirrors when you always dress the same. Ahem, what are you saying? Are you insinuating that I don't have style? No, no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. Milo, whenever you want, we are ready. Well, fine. The first thing we have to do is get everyone up top. Let's get on the platform. Good. Now everybody get to work. Rita and Olga, you can start building the walls. Talalo and Alfred will prepare the ladder. I'll help out wherever I can. Hello, my friends. Hey, what's going on? Mumu, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I already finished. What are you doing? We wanted to surprise you. We built a house just for you up here in the tree. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have a house. Why would I want another? 
Moo Moo, the problem is that you snore like a lion and we can't sleep with all that snoring. So we built you this little house so that you could sleep here. You're throwing me out of my house because I snore? <laughs> I'm so sad. But we all need to rest. And with all your snoring, none of us can sleep. <laughs> I'm so sad. You don't want me to sleep with you in the same house. You don't love me anymore. Moo Moo, we're sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do. This house is for all of us, and we're going to sleep here all together starting tonight. Am I also going to sleep here? We're all going to sleep <gasps> here. You'll see how uh -huh. much fun it'll be. Come yeah! on, quit crying and help us finish it. Yay! for this beautiful house. And don't worry, because I promise I won't snore tonight. Not even a little. Alfred! Quit snoring! I'm not the one snoring. It's Moo Moo! What can we do to make her quit snoring? We can make that noise that people make when somebody's snoring. I know which one. It sounds like she stopped. Finally. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Alfred! Make that noise again really loud this time. Let's see if she shuts up. Alfred? Alfred! Alfred fell asleep. I can't believe it. Now Alfred is snoring. Now Rita is snoring. This is a nightmare. Now you're snoring too, Milo? You know what? I'm going to go home now so I can sleep all by myself. Good night. <laughs>